So we're testing with the new Misfortune buffs a non-crit based kiting build, which should be very strong. It also makes great use of the buffed Q. And it also doesn't mind maxing W by level 10. Should be a lot of damage, should be a lot of vision control with Zombie Wards and Umbra Glaive. These two uh, pieces of the puzzle, Umbra Glaive plus, plus Zombie Wards, they just, they just, oh, are we getting, yep. They're coming from this way. Bro. Yep. Good thing I cut off their escape routes. Okay, so I'm starting with an unfair lead. So whatever happens this game, it's not the fault of the build, it's the fault of the fact I'm starting game with, uh, literally with a serrated duck. I am a little bit behind in experience now. Not too much though, I still got two minions worth of experience here. Hello for the misfortunates over on YouTube as well, by the way. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description. And ideally, we just take our lead and shove it down their throats, like so. Yeah, I mean, what are you trying to do? Fight a misfortune with a serrated duck. Good luck, my friends. Again, I mean, we can just snowball the game from here. I'm obviously testing all these builds on a smurf account, so we're playing in platinum right now, which means the enemies will make mistakes. They won't play safe now. They'll just let us snowball into a 20 kill game and give us one of those YouTuber stomp games, <laughs> I suppose. Which is also fun every once in a while, you know? I didn't even pay attention there. <laughs> Let's pop a potion, I don't want a base. Alright, so yeah, first item Umbra Glaive for complete vision control. Then we go into Eclipse for some lifesteal, then Blade of the Ruined King, and then probably just Wit's End. Because Wit's End in late game is just crazy on a build like this. But I do have a lot of flexibility in terms of itemization once you're at that point. They killed my Ash. What does it matter? I'm too fat right now. I want a base for my item. Miss all my minions in the process. Oh well, I have my I have my item actually. Gives me complete control over the lane. Umbra Glaive just broken. Abuse it while you can. It's a busted item. So yeah, next up we want Berserkers into Eclipse. Berserkers is really important for a Presti attack because you need movement speed to trigger it reliably, you know. Okay. So far so good. Four kills. <laughs> Umbra Glaive at four minutes. Jin would be proud. Let's see what they do. Evelyn is nearby. We want three points in Q for the lane phase. Hmm. Try to maybe hit them. Where's Evelyn? Get that flash, and that's cranks completely dead. Where is he? 
I misplayed. <laughs> I misplayed quite hard. Alright. Walked into every single trap under the sun, huh? Can't help. Yep. Oh, it's so greedy to stay, but I want to be here. Okay, then tries to go for me. Or does she? Come on, just CC her, my friend. Okay, she's just dead. She got me, no! <laughs> Should've just flashed it, I was so greedy. I guess I just take my Vamp Scepter here, if we're fighting that hard. Okay, I, I was playing with fire, got punished for it. Don't touch the wave. Oh, Ash, don't, don't, don't. She killed the minion that had no aggro at all. That's a true platinum lobby. Unlucky. Oh well, the wave state is still fine. It's not like she's ruin, ruining it too hard. It's just not as good as it could be. And now she's just last hitting aggroed minions, which is completely fine. Yeah, the three, uh, three points in Q give a lot of pressure in lane. Any wards here in this alcove? Nope. Shut down. Nothing. Alright. Blitzcrank is on a mission, huh? Well, my exhaust saved her. That's good news. Sure. Gotta be careful. Evelyn's probably not here though. Okay, Evelyn mid lane. That's good to know. So I can hold the 1v2 for a while. Yeah, do your thing. I can clear that ward in 20 seconds. Get the experience for the cannon minion. Yeah, giving that kill to Caitlyn really set me back. It is what it is, though. Okay, Ignite gets it. Unlucky. That's fine though. I prioritize killing that ward, so I'm the one to blame. Could have worked, could have worked. I like the idea. Yeah, I want to pressure Kate and out of lane before we base. Well, I'm getting 3v1, so I better back off Evelyn's here. They could go for Dragon, of course, but I can't risk it. So this game is actually a legit game. My team is... Uh, Giving them lots of kills, we're still ahead, but I've had my shutdown away, my team also died here and there. 
It's probably better to go this. Yeah. Yeah, but I based first now, which gives Caitlyn an advantage. She has more farm than I have and more levels. Just crazy. But I didn't want to risk staying in case they wanted to dive. But I mean, I could have stayed probably. Dragon was such a juicy target for them. Get it back into that tower. No wards to be found. Sure. Caitlyn Gale Force. Shut down. If Ash gets a good ulti, she has heal, not cleanse. alive. But I have to back off here. Oh, she's looking for me, isn't she? I have to back off completely, yeah. Caitlyn lived, which is kind of frustrating. I thought we would kill her with that. Oh well, it is what it is. She's level 9, I'm still level 7. Uh, how did I fall that far behind? I don't get it. Oh well, I guess it's time for the builds to demonstrate what it can do. On my way. No wards. They're not warding at all. Crazy. They're warding the most random places, but the ones that matter, they don't ward. <laughs> okay. How dangerous is this? Actually, quite dangerous. Evelyn might be here. And I can base for Eclipse, which is definitely worth. Yeah. Now we can all in them quite effectively. <clears throat> the kiting build. Finally with W Max again. Uh, I mean, okay, with, with greedy item bases like these, I miss minions for no reason. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I should have delayed my back for this wave. Else I'm falling even further behind. Can I take tower? Wouldn't mind. Okay. I'm just greeting so hard this game. Ah, uh, <laughs> Sorry. I keep disappointing in this game. Oh, it happens sometimes. I mean, it's my second death, but a very stupid death. In addition to that, I'm just fading back timings here and there. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, okay, let's let's play for real now. I should not do stupid things anymore. I hereby vow to play this optimally from now on. Don't want to throw one game. Yeah, that works. Good Ash arrow. 
Very good Ash error. Nope, nothing. Nice. The knockback to get, get me, uh, or to get her in my auto attack range, that was very, very smooth. Well played. This Maokai is doing good work. By the way, I don't want to know in which game state we would have been had we not gotten these early kills. <laughs> this game is way harder than I ever, ever thought it could be after that level 1. Alright. Lethality Renekton dies too fast. Once we get better of the Ruined King, this will all be so much safer. Okay. And just the extra Vamp Scepter will already go a long way. Alright, nice. Yeah, I really like Wit's End. It will help against Evelyn a lot, and it's so much damage in the late game too. And then maybe Guardian Angel last. Could be possible. Okay. The Zombie Ward Control. Where can we go? Yeah, I like this call. Evelyn looking for us. But she's way too late, of course. Doing this so my Amber Glaive doesn't get triggered. Too aggressive, too aggressive. But we should win the fight overall, so... Or actually, do we win it? Uh, okay, maybe I just baited my team into an unwinnable fights because Gangplank could flank, yeah. I was too greedy. I'm so greedy. Why am I so greedy this game? Need to be more patient. I need to kill Gangplank for gold. Victor should be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's under tower. Ooh, this guy li okay, doesn't live. I was about to say. Would have been quite wild. Okay, we could try to sandwich Gangplank in the top lane. Depends on where he tries to base. Or what he tries to do. Oh no, he barely got out. Ah, we almost found him. Not in time though. Not in time. Alright. Yeah, I like the Baron call. Eve down, Gangplank bot lane. We're all here. Just wanted to get my last zombie ward for the maximum AD. Ooh, 
Wait, they actually stole it with Blitzcrank. What? <laughs> what is this game? How did Blitzcrank steal that? This should never happen. Never ever. In no situation. Their jungler was dead. It wasn't even a smite war. Goodness gracious. Now we even start seeing surrender votes coming out. What a timeline. Yeah, couldn't go in there without Renekton killing me. That actually kind of worked. We got the dragon and... Oh, my team actually is ready to forfeit. Yo, what's wrong with these people? Screw them. GP. Oh, okay, I got outplayed. Too risky. Too greedy. Yeah, there's a like a, a common theme in this game. I'm just always greedy. <laughs> Is Evelyn even the main concern? Should I just go for GA instead? To get some armor? We have a couple options. Well, I don't mind Wits End into Bloodthirster, actually. Yeah, more lifesteal in the Bloodthirster shield would also be very nice. And just the Wits End damage will round out this build enough. Good ulti. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, I like it. Yeah, we deal so much damage. Renekton is super squishy with this build. Not a single defensive item. Yeah, let's get inhibitor. They wanted to surrender. Even though we're still winning. I guess they just have no frustration tolerance. Something doesn't go their way, they don't want to play anymore. Crying from mommy. Alright, let's get the wits end and see where it takes us. This Caitlyn has farmed really well. She's still two levels on me and 60 CS. Yeah, I misplayed in the early, I was too sure of myself in the early game and misplayed unnecessarily all the time. Don't wanna risk the Evelyn one shot. I don't have exhaust. Take some CS. Oh no.
Baron's not a concern right now. We know where their vision is. Could have been basing in there. Again, Umbra Glaive telling me that I'm not walking over wards is so much quality of life. Especially against a champion like Evelyn. But my team is very uncoordinated right now. They're all over the place. I'm just checking for wards while there's nothing to do. Ooh. Good. Yeah, nothing is warded. Drake in 20, we can just take it. Alright. Yeah, Evelyn down. There's no way this gets stolen, right? No way. They can't counter Baron without Evelyn. Yeah. We need to control the Baron area. We can't just go bot lane now. At least not all of us. Victor can, probably by himself. No wards there. Yo, did you see that burst damage? On a. Well, kind of tanky Blitzcrank. He has some armor. And he has tanky base stats. <laughs> sure. Evelyn can kill me. I'm not careful. Or can she actually? Well, we should push side lanes, that's for sure. Well, they're dead. Make use of their death timers. I should have my wits end as well. Can push one more wave. If Evelyn comes, I can kill her. She can't 1v1 me here. Alright, show me. Not even close. Why did I exhaust? <laughs> that was feeble. Yeah, I need to base for my item. Then we rush Baron. Alright. Looking kinda hot here. Yo, this is 76 on hit damage. Plus 40 AD, plus 40 attack speed. I was about to say, if Gangplank took that, I would have cried. Okay, the 2v1 I can't win. I thought I could flash away from a Necton, but he could close the gap still, and Evelyn was right there. I thought she was maybe here. Yeah, okay. I was too sure of that. Okay, so they don't lose as much here as they could, but they will still lose sideline towers, which is inherently valuable as well.
new Maokai also kind of crazy, isn't he? Actually, Death's Dance wouldn't be a bad item either. I bought this, that's good too. Drake Soul in 50. I want. This game could probably be long over had this first Baron not been stolen by Blitzcrank, of all people. It's not worth it. Stop being paranoid. Okay. Okay, but Evelyn still gets me. I was too sure. Ah, I was too sure nothing can happen if they can't see me, but I was proven wrong. Still an okay fight. I did a lot of damage before I died. Yeah, we win this fight overall. Caitlyn cannot kill them. <sighs> yeah, 2.7k damage of Blade of the Ruined King. Yeah, okay, just because it isn't warded doesn't mean I'm not out of position. Amber Glaive giving me a false sense of security. What is... Okay, I mean, at least Aatrox can finish her off, but... That looked... sketchy. That looked very sketchy. Oh well, we get Drake, I hope. Wow, I can't pull the saplings towards the bush. It doesn't work. <laughs> that feels bad. I hope they don't spawn in time. Evelyn's already on the map. Okay, we see Evelyn. It doesn't get stolen. That's something. An ally has been slain. This game's complete fiesta, by the way. In case you couldn't tell. Okay, through exhaust, no chance they kill me. And, you know, Elda. No, what is its name? Uh, Ocean. Ocean Soul. Nice try. Okay, now we should be able to take some stuff. Good arrow. <sighs> Blowing them up instantly. Yeah, okay, we can finish now. Finally! What a fiesta! Well, still getting an S minus. <laughs> Had I clicked yes, we would have surrendered. But yeah. Oof. I misplayed heavily, but the build felt quite nice, and we definitely had our moments one-shotting the Gangplank and stuff, and the Blitzcrank and everyone. If you don't troll, you can go places with this build, especially Umbra Glaive is... If you don't get baited by it, it's a very good item. But there's still a lot more things to test. Um, anyway. <laughs> You know, the channel is all about AD carry gameplay. So for more Misfortune stuff, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.